Welcome to the fifth tutorial of Pixel Composer. In this tutorial, we will talk about the VFX node. This tutorial is based on version 1.0.7, which is still under development and has not released for public yet at the time of recording. If you want to create a particle, you can use a node called particle in the generate then particle. This is a single node that you can press play and it will generate a basic particle. But what if you want to create a more complex particle? For example, a particle that generate another particle on there, or a particle that can be affected by wind or different force effectors. To do that, we need to create a VFX node, which can also be accessed in the generate category. In the VFX, as you can see, we can double click on this node. And if we have a basic particle structure, right clicking inside this node, we have a new VFX menu that contains different types of nodes you can add. The first is a particle spawner or particle emitter. This node has a similar content to a simple particle node, except the output of this node is not an image. It will send in this particle data, which will be sent into this renderer node, which will render it out to the surface. The spawner node also contains different kind of junction. For example, in the input, it will have a spawn trigger, which will allow you to create a custom event trigger for spawning this particle. And the output, also have the different event like on create, on step, or on destroy. For example, let's create new particle. Now we want this particle to be created when the particle when this particle is destroyed. So let's go to on destroy, dragging into a spawn trigger. We will also disable the spawn here so that it won't spawn automatically. Now we can send this particle data into the renderer. Now when you play the animation you will see that a new particle will be created when the previous one is destroyed. We can also add an effector to the particle, which will modify the particle position, velocity, or rotation. For example, let's add some wind effect. Here you can change the area of effect and different properties. Now we try to play the animation. We will see that the particle are now affected by this wind effector. The visual effect node can also have an input which work just like normal group input. Like for example, if you want to control the amount that the particle will spawn, we can simply just connect it to the input node, and then you will be able to control it, just like normal groups. And that's it for the VFX group. There is a lot more feature in Pixel Composer that I haven't go through it yet. I'm planning to make more tutorial, probably the shorter one in the future. If you have any question, you can put it in the comment section and I will try to answer it as much as I can. You can also go to the HIO community pages or the GitHub to report back or recommend feature. Thanks for watching.